Hey, it's Johnny Grooms. Today I'm going to be reviewing a product that I was sent for the purposes of the review. If you saw my last review on Naked Armor, I did a review on the Lichen Shave Kit. And I kind of highlighted one other item they sent me, which was their Scuttle Cup, which I really enjoyed. So today, I'm going to be reviewing the Silver Fox Shave Kit and Scuttle Cup. So what I'm going to do is bring the camera down, show the kit in detail, then bring it back up, have a head shave, and then give you my final thoughts on the Silver Fox Shave Kit from Naked Armor. So let's bring the camera down. Okay, here is the Silver Fox Shaving Kit. Inside the box. Get a little card here. Get some free product. Some rating. A rating card. Uh, gives you contact information to share your experiences. You get the Naked Armor catalog. And inside, you get shave brush, shave soap, the Silver Fox metal scuttle cup. Let's bring it out here. These are the uh, plugs, because what you do is you put you do is you put hot water in here, and it heats up the whole cup to make sure your shave soap is nice and warm. So these are the plugs for that. Let's get the cup out so you can see it. There it is. You got the logo on the bottom, a very nice cup, nice and clean. There's no jagged edges in the metal here. Everything's nice and smooth. So very nice looking cup here, nice and smooth, nice metal work, of course. And yeah, everything looks really good. I was a big fan of the old Scuttle Cup. This is a lot lighter than the ceramic one also. And um, yeah, it's going to be good. Let's put this back. This is a shave brush from Lincoln Armor. It's the same one as every other kit. Nice stiff bristles to really get that uh, lather worked up. Also comes with a little puck of shave soap. This one does look a little different than the one that I've got before. It is plastic wrapped. It's very tightly wrapped up. That pack. And this is the Silver Fox razor right here. Very nice. You got the uh, Naked Armor badging right there and right there, the logo. Um, it will come loaded with a blade. I've said in my past review that I don't like that option, so I'm going to take that out. Essentially, you just lift that hinge up, separate these two, and take that out. I will be loading my own blade in here. Everything's nice and smooth. There's no rust spots. This is all nice and smooth. There's no jagged edges here, which is really nice. And um, I kind of I like the way this looks. Silver really silver really brings out a lot of imperfections in metal. So if you you can see this and you can see how you know there are a few scratches and stuff like that on the inside where you would load the where you would load the blade and all that. Um, that's come that's expected because this is a working uh, mechanism here this will always rub against each other because it's so tight to keep the blade locked in um, you're gonna get that you're gonna get some some scratching metal marks um, that's pretty much what every razor you use in this kind of style but all in all very nice looking handle I am a fan of these kind of razors more so than the safety razors I cut myself less so yeah let's get a blade in this and then uh, we'll go up and have a head shave and i'll give you my final thoughts on the naked armor silver fox shave kit and scuttle cup my blades of choice are the derby premium they are pre-cut so i don't have to split any blades in half got this off of amazon one of the best purchases I ever made because it comes with so many blades. Comes with a hundred. Very nice blades. They cut very, very well. Mm. 
Okay, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're back up in the bathroom for the head shave. Let's get ready for the head shave, which I'm gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna speed it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exfoliate my skin, make sure it's nice and clean, put a hot towel on my head for a minute or two, then slap it with some pre-shave oil, apply the shaving cream, and then shave my head. I'm gonna try and do this in a new style where I just do all of this and just have it high speed. That way it just doesn't drag on for an extended period of time. Uh, essentially making a longer video than needed, if you will. So, let's go. Okay, now my head is ready for the shave. Let's get the shaving cream all set up. Today's shaving cream, I'm gonna be using C.O. Bigelow. Um, it is a really good premium shave cream. It's $10 a tube. There you go, it's empty. Fill up the hole and water is going to come out of it. Just like that. As you can see like that, it's a premium shave cream paste. And I got my brush all nice and soaked. It's been soaking in the water the entire time I was prepping my head. And I'm just going to build my lather up in the cup. There you go, there's my shave cream right there, nice and lathered up, very frothy. Um, the cup does a really good job keeping the shaving cream nice and warm, and the grooves inside really help the shaving cream build a great lather. There you go. When I use one of these, I like to make sure that everything is prepped to the T. Uh, because it's so sharp and you have the highest potential to cut yourself, um, I make sure everything is done correctly, my skin is exfoliated, I put a hot towel in to relax the hair follicles, and I put a nice layer of pre-shave oil, and my shaving cream is properly foamed up, and the lather is nice and thick. And with the scuttle cup, everything stays warm, so this is going to be a good shave experience. <music> runny on the brush but once you put it on your skin and your skin absorbs that moisture you get what you have here Okay, great shave experience. With these kinds of razors, it does take me an average between 10 to 20 minutes for the shave. Because I gotta be that much careful, I gotta be that much slower with the razor. So when it comes to shaving the head, I probably wouldn't use this every time because it's a much longer process to shave your head with one of those rather than just using a cartridge razor or you know, like the Gillette or the Defender razor. Those are much easier uh, options to explore when you're shaving your head. But all in all, really solid, good razor. It performed, performed perfectly. Um, the hinge didn't come loose during shaving. This wasn't moving around as I was navigating through my head. So 
another really good solid razor from Naked Armor. I really like the look of this. It's got a large sturdy handle. It worked perfectly. It's from Dr. John's. It's called the Rose Pariah. Very nice masculine floral scent. I have it in the shave soap and the aftershave. Let's get it on. Cut myself back here somewhere. <laughs> Although I'm not bleeding, so I feel my skill with these razors are greater than safety razors. For some reason, I cut myself with safety razors more than I do with these kind of razors. Maybe because I'm taking my time, I'm not sure. That's what I got this little guy from. I was using a safety razor on a live shave and I cut myself and I was bleeding. Again, the Scuttle Cup performed perfectly. I really enjoy this product from Naked Armor. Um, I have the black ceramic and now I have the metal Silver Fox Scuttle Cup. These are great shave bowls. I love the handle, the ability to put hot water in there to keep your shaving cream nice and warm, the lather it builds, great product from Naked Armor. So that'll be it for my review on the Naked Armor Silver Fox Shave Kit and Scuttle Cup. It's got my recommendation. I'm gonna leave in the link in the description below of all the products used in this video today. If you like the contents of the video, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. And as always, remember to take care of yourself and each other. Later.